Welcome, brothers in Christ. We have our one ten percent watermelon flavor. I'm about to uh, let me. I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna put. Uh, yeah, prepare for the smoke. But I'm gonna do a scoop and some change, like a little bit more than a scoop. I'm gonna put it in the shaker cup. a good amount alrighty so as I take this pre-workout I kind of want to have like a little conversation with you guys talking about some stuff so lately my sleep schedule has been horrible I've been sleeping at north of 3 a.m. waking up at like 1 so I'm gonna fix that tonight by training hard but I also only have um, like a scoop and some change. I usually do a scoop and a half of pre, so there will be less caffeine in my system. It's currently 4 p.m. And yeah, so I should be able to go to sleep early. I'm gonna finish my session around like seven-ish, because I probably have to take it down and stuff and do some stuff before I start training, but yeah. Today I have secondary squat, secondary deadlift, and then some upper back accessories. I'm going to retro today because I need the machines because my front delt is bothering me and my upper right back isn't, it's so weird. It's like on and off. Like if this, if my front delt is, is hurting, then my upper right back is like fine. And then vice versa, if my upper back is hurting, then my front delt doesn't hurt as much. Maybe it's like the pain receptors are like so strong in one area over the other that I can't feel in the other area, but both of them are usually in pain. Like I still feel my upper back in pain, so. Yeah, it's just annoying. This whole right side is fucked, but I know how to recover it. I just need to keep doing a lot of upper back work, a lot of mid trap work, and that should completely nail it in the ass, and I'll be good to go. So yeah, um, today, so far I've had like half of a New York strip steak, and then I had um, two like pieces of really thin New York strip, like very thin pieces. It's like a different type of, a different type of, a different cut, sorry. And then I also had like four chicken breasts. So a lot of protein, a lot of meat in my system. So I'm full, I'm satiated and I don't need any uh, other bullshit, right? So take this pre-workout and we'll get straight to it. We on our way to retro fitness. And it's raining.
all right guys so that's gonna do it for this video pretty short and sweet but the reason i'm making this short is because tomorrow's video is gonna be long i'm going to fiu <clears throat> to train with aiden and then whoever's there else not ex entirely sure who's gonna be there but usually there are other people there that i know of so it'll be a good vlog but i'm getting really annoyed because here, let me start driving actually yeah i'm getting really fucking annoyed because i'm tired of training alone in my gym it was really nice at first but the loneliest loneliness really kicks in i didn't realize how much i needed the social time that i get when i train with people at the gym it's not even that i talk to them that much but just being around other people it's very important for mental health so yeah i asked the manager at retro if i could bring in at least just my bench and my bar because those are really the only problems that i have with that gym is there's not a good bench and then they're not good they're not ohio power bars they don't have any so she said she's going to talk to corporate i guess the ceo the person who's higher up and see what their response is to that so we will see but um yeah it's just I, I training alone sucks so much i didn't realize how much it's gonna suck like i didn't realize it would suck at all i was I was excited for it because it, it sounded nice. It looks good on paper. And then when you do it, it is trash after a while. It's really good. It was really good like the first month. And then, you know, the second and third months now are just getting, it's just getting worse. It's like, fuck, you know? So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to see what I can do. I might go back to prime time. I don't even know, man. I might go back to prime time and like see if I could add the stuff that I have there, like sell it. I don't even know, bro. I don't. I don't want to sell it though. I really don't. I don't know. I, I might just keep my home gym and then have like a membership elsewhere that has like competition plates and shit. I never had any problems trading at prime time equipment wise. They have really good machines that allowed me to get the pump I needed. But the people there that's where the issue rises my my ex-girlfriend goes there um and then people who just don't like me go there so the feeling of unwantedness arises if i were to go back there and i don't really want to deal with that i think i'd rather just be alone than deal with people not wanting me there my presence you know i just wish you know there was a powerlifting gym 10 to 15 minutes away from me but that just does not exist retro is the closest thing it's about 15 minutes but there's no professional powerlifting equipment on calibrated plates no solid wide benches sticky benches so i'm just praying that the response from corporate is good you know because then everything's fucking fine but the likelihood of that happening is like it's pretty fucking low but we'll see i'll be praying on it please god but i'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video where i go lift with aiden aiden ross <laughs> and whoever else is there take care thank you so much for watching if you watched all the way through i appreciate you leave a comment if you guys have anything any feedback to give to me and yeah that's it